This is Let's Get On With It, Third World Farmer, part of my 60-minute Flash series where I blindly play Flash games for up to an hour. Will this game be worth my time? Let's find out. Buy crops from the upper left menu, place them in your field, press the play button when ready for the next turn, click family members for new options. No music in the game. Uh, doesn't appear to be any sound either. What sort of options do we have here? This is a simulation game? I am suppose I'm going to spend some time learning it. There is no prompt tutorial, as tends to be the case with, say, these new ground flash games, especially the simulation variety or strategy, so I'm on my own. I think this is also a, uh, a fairly serious uh, game. I, I can't speak in verification of that. But I suppose I'm... <laughs> I'm going to try to learn things. Okay, I have a various amount of crops I can plant. I have 50 space bucks. Uh, I need a shed for that. Shovel, scythe. I can build a shed, but that would consume all of my money. And various communications, by the looks of things. Okay. Uh, I don't know exactly where the best, or it's best for me to place things. I suppose I'll just plant some corn. Uh, first, uh, click out of that. I would like to buy a shovel. I might need a shed before I can buy a shovel. That's a fair statement, Grimoth. Let's just buy a bunch of crops. We'll call it a day. We want a variety of crops. I know that much. I mean, uh, you don't want to put all of your eggs in one basket, as it were. We'll go ahead and spice things up there. We'll have four crops. Okay, and family head. What the hell? One of the factors that determine the possible actions. Okay. Education. Workload. Health. Married to. Options. Go to school. Allows the player to appoint a new head of the family. At six years old? Interesting. Family members who leave the farm will not return later. Uh-huh. Okay. I want the kids to stay on the farm for now. That seems reasonable enough. And it appears that I needed to have money for them to uh, go to school. Ah, well. What does have... I was about to say, what does have baby do? I know what have baby does. I wonder if the game will give me a concept of what the consequences will be. A pregnancy lowers the woman's work efficiency for that year. Well, we obviously need more farm workers. So, there you go. I'm glad the woman made a great decision there in her life. And, uh, let's go ahead with the next turn. How about that? Raid by guerrilla forces. Word of your relative success as a farmer spreads through the local community. Perhaps this is the reason that a group of heavily armed guerrillas pay you a visit and rob you of what, most of what you have at the threat of your lives. Note, supporting representative is a way is a way of ensuring less griddle will be around. You lose all livestock, tractors, and harvesters, and all your savings, unless you have a representative. Interesting. Wow. Fucking turn one. This is a serious business game. A serious business silent game. There's no trouble with that. I don't have a mind. I don't have a problem playing in the silent. Oh, uh, yeah. Of course you give me negative workload. No surprises there. Give medicine. Hmm. What does that do? What does education do? Higher education means better job offers and marriage proposals, but also increases farm work efficiency. If that person leaves the farm. Ah, if that person's health drops. Okay. Sending kids to school is the best way to prepare them for life. For a fee, each kid can be sent to school every turn. Well, in school, they cannot contribute much farm work, but they will learn skills to make them more efficient later in life. 
Building the school improvement makes fee fees cheaper and allows kids to contribute more to work at the farm so they don't have to travel very far to school every day. Alright, so that's something that I could theoretically do. You're nine, you're seven, and you're a baby. I right. wonder how much sending these kids to school costs. No school nearby, so kids sent to school have to walk very far every day. They can only participate in farm work. School fee is $30. Huh. Well, barn. Uh, maybe I don't need a shed. I mean, obviously it says it doesn't have needs. So maybe I just needed to place it in the goddamn house or something then, huh? That's communications. Infrastructure. School, 450. Yikes. That's, that's not overly problematic. I Can I get a review of... Press green buttons to sell items for prices given. Ah. I would have liked a, a turn review thing where I could go back and see how much things were worth that I sold. Huh. Weed appears to be down. Oh, God damn it! Fuck, I did it again. Sorry about that, guys. Cotton is light and fluffy. Peanuts is a high-risk crop with potentially large profit. Well, let's go ahead and uh, have some high risk. We'll throw down some cotton, too. Uh, throw down two wheat. And two corn. And we'll have five dollars left to spare. You! Right, right. You must construct additional babies. <laughs> that is the only way to succeed in life. Trust me, I'm a professional. <laughs> A forest fire started by farmers to clear land for farming gets out of control. Hot damn, it's a good fucking thing. I I never, like, bought it, like any of those tools. That's crazy. I now have $146. Family work capacity is pretty high. And this new kid over here, Doratu. Okay. Um, I do actually want to make uh, you kids more efficient. So, I know it's going to cost me money, but I care about the future. I also care about children. Because <laughs> children are the future. <laughs> I fail to see any problem with this. Okay. Give me some... Maybe I don't need to plant all of that, huh? I mean, uh, if I did buy the shovel here, that, that wouldn't be such a bad thing. I appear to have one now. I do not appear to have one. Oh, oh, duh. Use your eyes, Grimoth. I still don't have one. There we go. There we go, Grimoth. Let's put all of our eggs in one basket now. Thirteen. There. There we go. That's good. Lose all barns and sheds. Tools bonus ten. Now I have eighty dollars. I didn't make a whole lot of money. That's because I invested so much money into education. For the children. And I didn't have my family work capacity. wasn't very high either. I am going to stop uh, working you hard. And, uh, I gave them all some education, but... Whew, cost a lot of money to keep sending these damn brats to school. <laughs> Alright. Go for it! Kids! <laughs> More mouths to feed! <laughs> I'm being stupid! Woo! The stupidest thing I probably did was sending the kids to school because it cost so much money. It, it detracted from my workload. <laughs> I can't believe I said that. <laughs> oh, God damn it, Griffith. Fuck it. You kids can't... We can't afford to send you kids to school this year. This has been a poor year for most people in the region. Some have resorted to the petty thefts. Tools and accessories have been disappearing. For, wow. Wow, game. Well, I'm glad I spent all that money on that fucking shovel. 
God damn. This is a serious game. I, I've clearly underestimated it. And I'm continuing to ridicule it by the amount of children I'm having. Well, this is obviously the best idea I've ever had, right? Uh, speaking of kids, I don't want any more... Okay. The woman has spoken. We will not have any more babies. Her word is law. Speaking of law... I really don't have a, a good saying I was going to attach to that. Let's lay down some crops. We don't have a shovel anymore. Lamentable, but things happen. God damn. Drought. You lose all crops. Corn harvest fails. Poor weather conditions this year kill off all corn fields in the area. Alright. Uh, that's the punishment for putting all eggs in a basket. Well, good thing I didn't do that then, huh? Wonderful. 75 health, 76 health. You want more kids now? Nah, she's good. 13 years old. Go to school. Go to school. Give medicine. Give medicine. Give medicine. Alright. Alright. All the kids are starting to do a better job of contributing in life, so that's a good thing. Uh huh. A plow greatly increases crop yield, but I don't have the money to really afford that. Shed, well, increases the yield. Makes droughts less dangerous. Shields, sheds increase livestock yield. Wonder if I can lose this, these special things down here. Oh, that'd suck. Needs representative. Holy shit. Okay. Well, I should probably stop trying to diversify my portfolio then. Regards to buying tools or sending kids to school. That was clearly a stupid idea. Corn is pretty cheap now. Especially after there's like a corn drought. I can just fill out the rest of this field with corn. Let's go ahead and do that. There's another corn drought. There were no survivors. <laughs> it's like, God damn it. There we go. Entire field filled out. Sweet. Don't you fucking fail on me. <laughs> For the second year in a row, there was another failure of corn harvest. Ha 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 ha. All the money you invested turned into shit. Ha 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 Nope, no more kids. Got it. Fucking hell. God damn it. Ha 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 Fucking game. And coordinate sales resulting in higher outcomes. We'll go ahead and invest in that. Hopefully that can't be taken away. Hopefully that can't be taken away. Bit of diversification. I can't afford anything else. So we'll hopefully that, that all pans out for me. Raid by guerrilla forces. Which livestock, trade tractors, harvesters, and savings. Okay. Things turned out fairly well there. We do have some serious living costs, courtesy of all the mouths we have to feed. He's, uh, he's not doing that damn well. Uh, me, full dose. Yikes. Medicine is expensive because there's no clinic nearby. Go ahead and give him one, one dose. His workload is uh, rapidly diminishing, of course. Whole family. Yikes. I'm going to have to look into that. I spent a lot of money on that communications thing. I ultimately don't know whether it was worth it to buy it, but, you know, I'm exploring the game for the first time, so the things that I do aren't going to be optimal. In case you didn't know. Now, uh, now, corn has betrayed me a lot in the past, so I'm going to shy away from it this time. Corrupt officials. So you're a farmer? How come you never paid your farming license? Never heard of it? My, is this going to cost you? You lose your savings unless you have a representative. God damn. You can't save money in this game at all. <laughs> it just punishes you. Oh, you're a big kid now. How about that? This family definitely needs medicine. Definitely. 
I'll go ahead and uh, splurge on medicine for uh, a Nico who has sacrificed so much in his life to get uh, some nice little uh, workload back. We'll uh, we'll eventually afford to send those other kids to school at some point, I'm sure. It's just a it's a slow process here. Slow process. 23 minus... 36 minus 23 is 13. That gives me enough to buy two corns. So yeah, third world farmer. Hot damn. Farming in the third world is pretty goddamn hard. Cattle disease, you lose all cattle. Thankfully that didn't touch me. Now I have 734. Thanks to my exceptionally high farmer family work capacity. Uh, give medicine for the whole family. Okay, go to school. Well, no. What can I afford here? Infrastructure, school. Hey, we'll splurge on that. Um, I probably should have uh, waited on that. Because I don't have a whole lot of money now. Like, I, I have less money than what I started with now. I have made some lamentable life decisions here. But there's a school now, and it can benefit the children. I spent a lot of money on medicine for my people, too. So, you know, things happened. And theft. All shuttles and shovels and scythes. We, uh, 450% work capacity turned that into a lot. I want you to... How will marriage help? Marriage becomes available as an option. A spouse has found a bride. Gift is estimated depending on various factors such as ill. If most of them be said rejected, the husband and marries the new spouse because of the farm because a member of the family. Especially they live to the farm and go live with the new spouse elsewhere. Okay, so that would actually send him away. Do I want to do that? It could be worth it. Um, he's not the most educated guy. He's only had one year of education. Um, it, but it might not be a bad idea. He's 18 years old. He does need to move out of the house, you know. We might want to have more kids, right? So, new, no suitable spouse can be found at this time. That's okay. I'll go ahead and put him in school again. And for you, I'm going to go ahead and put you in school too. I actually want all the kids to go to school. I do want to spend my money on educating the youth. Okay. Do you want to have another kid by chance? Nah, I didn't think so. Thought I'd check. You know, it's important to ask the woman every now and then whether she feels like having a baby. It's a big deal. You, sh you should probably run it past her. You know, have a little, have a little discussion, a little powwow, if you will. Let's go ahead and slap down some more wheat, and hopefully that shit doesn't fail. Okay, civil war. So shortly after you have harvested, civil war breaks out in your country, trying to stay out of trouble. You are plundered by both sides, leaving you with very little when the conflict is finally settled. Lose some crops, livestock, tools, and structures, and living costs increase this year. Great. Hopefully I don't lose any of the light bulbs. That'd be pretty serious. No marriage? Okay. Uh, go to school again. Are there... No, I can't marry you off yet. You go and go to school, get yourself an education. It cuts down on my workload, but things happen. Gotta get these kids, you know, gotta have these kids with some book learning here. As for investments, I really just want to fucking stay away from livestock entirely. The one time I bought a tool, I got burned. Badly. It's like you, without a representative. <laughs> Things just get lost so quickly out here. Whew. Pretty serious game indeed. Alright, it's okay. I don't have a problem with it. I'm interested by it. No sound or music. Um, I don't feel like listening to any, though. If the game doesn't wish to provide it, that's fine. I'll go ahead and... No, 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 no. The last time I did this, there was a crop failure. 
So we'll go ahead and mix and match. How about that? And a pig disease. You lose all pigs. Not a problem for me. All right, we got a decent amount of cash. Good, 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 good. Um, marriage opportunity? Nope. Uh, go to school then. No marriage opportunity for you. So go ahead and get in school. Fucking kids. Get in that goddamn school. I spent so much money on that damn thing. It's a schoolhouse for just the six of you. <laughs> get in that goddamn school now. Alright. And, uh... I think everyone will be fine. Any more kids? Yeah. It's okay. Uh, let's see here. I like the whole idea of continuing to mix and match things. Uh, that way, things just don't fall apart in my face. And I'm just going to fill out this, uh, this crop area full of crops. Uh, clicking on one each. Seems to be a good idea. Well, not one each, but you know, I'm I'm making sure I mix and match. And we'll go ahead and fully dose you up with meds. And fully dose you up with meds, because you two are going to be my hard workers here. And I should know better than to actually try to save money. Because then my savings will be taken away. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and cycle through these little bastards. And uh, there we go. In turn. Fire, you lose all barns and sheds. Well, thankfully I didn't have any of those. Whew, we got a lot of money now. All right. Workload, 89%. Hot damn. Marriage? Nope. Back to school you go. <laughs> Marriage? Nope. Back to school you go. You, you kids are too young to get married off. Bunch of fucking girls too. It's ridiculous. I shouldn't have spent that money yet because I might have to. I might have wanted to buy a clinic. I didn't think of that at the time. Whoops. Speaking of that, uh, what can we go with next? Uh, all right. There's a check mark there. Local clinic will provide cheap, cheaper health services for people in the region, better access to markets, and lower crop prices. We'll go ahead and buy that improvement as well. We are the sole providers of this entire area, everyone. People in the local community follow your example and invest in this asphalt road. The improved infrastructure means that farmers can buy crops at lower prices. Sure, people in the local region. <laughs> it's totally not that I'm the only one who's doing anything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. <laughs> oh, goodness. It appears that crops are the most important things to have first. And uh, then if you still have money left over, feel free to diversify into livestock or tools or, you know, something of that nature. Otherwise, the game seems pretty damn risky. Uh, speaking of which, we'll go ahead and uh, pick out some tools to have. Uh, go ahead and lay down a shovel. We'll lay down a scythe, too. Uh, although, I could have progressed. Oh, well, no. I need a shed for that. What's that? The plow greatly increases crop yield. Might as well spend the money. Let's hope it doesn't come back to, you know, just be a waste of cash. Peanut harvest fails. I didn't get any crop insurance, so I don't get any money from that. But I did get a tools bonus, and of course my family work bonus. And I didn't actually use my tools. A member of the family is asking permission to travel to town and find a way of making money. A distant relative has offered some work opportunity, and he will pay in advance if you accept. Sure. Go ahead and get out of the family. Yeah, I see who left. What a pity. It was actually my wife. <laughs> she fucking left me? Well, now that you've become highly successful... <laughs> what the 
fucking. God damn! <laughs> I'm glad I get to play a game about being a third world farmer instead of. It might be time to uh to make someone here a new head of the family. Let's see here. Want to make sure I understand the consequences of this. The title has. Except that only the current female or spouse of the male head of the family may get new children. Okay. Um, so I looked for resembles for you. In that case, uh, Nico there. Old man and Nico. I apparently can rename these people. I have no interest in doing so. They can keep their names. I want Chisulo to stay with me, especially given how highly educated he is. So Chisulo is now the head of the family. And he has no marriage opportunities for him, unfortunately. Uh, damn. This is lamentable. It's a good thing I had all these kids to boss around before my wife left me. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Old man. Old man. This is, this is crazy. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a clinic. The local health clinic makes it a lot cheaper to get basic medicine and health services. Remember to keep an eye on family health as work efficiency depends on each family member's health. Get medicine for the whole family, so they're doing a lot better. And let's uh, throw down some crops again. We had a peanut thing fail. It'll be okay. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I see. I've already laid down a corn. One, two, three, four, five, and then two, three, four, five, six, and then two, three. Exciting commentary brought to you by Grimeth. With no sound to accompany the situation, we've managed to keep our tools. That's not bad. I possibly could have gotten a representative here. To help me protect my things. Oh, well. Mistakes may or may not have been made. Here's a here's a shed. And, uh... Okay. Let's go ahead and lay down some chickens, then. I'll go ahead and fill the entire thing with chickens. Nothing but chickens, as far as the eye can see. Chickens for you and chickens for me. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and build a well now. That'll have to do. You lose everything. I lost all my pigs, but I didn't exactly have pigs, so it's perfectly fine. I got tons of cash now. Oh, yeah. I'm in the money. Go ahead and get myself a representative. Local representative looks after the interests of the local community, fighting corruption and lawlessness. Reliable postal services is just one important improvement. Go and get myself some insurance. Hint, when the last of the projects from the menu has been built, the game ends on the following turn. You win, and your final score is calculated. Well, what the hell? Let's go ahead and do that, then. Uh, we won't end the game uh, after this, though, but we might as well go ahead and finish it. Sure, if that's going to be the termination point of the game. Why not? I don't have a problem with that. I'm a big kid. Uh, let's go ahead and fill the fields full of things. First, peanuts. Not so bad. Apparently, uh, becoming a third world farmer is, uh... I'm, I'm pretty skilled at it. My wife may have left me. <laughs> but, uh, I, I could have said no. But I didn't know it was my actual wife who'd be leaving me. Maybe the game said that, and I just failed to notice. Wouldn't be the first time I'd miss something important on, the, on a recording. So, uh... Huh. Alright, how much money does this cost? 125? This costs 500. Where do I put this? There. Okay. Eighty. I have two hundred seventy-one left. Go 
go ahead and give medicine for everyone. Uh, marriage opportunity for you? Nope. Marriage opportunity for you? Nope. Go to school. Marriage opportunity for you? Go back to school. Holy shit, look at the amount of workload that she can handle. It's crazy. She is a well-educated woman. And I am proud to have her as part of the family. Alright. Go ahead and educate you as well. That leaves us with enough money to uh, get myself some crop insurance. Sweet. The crop insurance is good to have in case of a drought, a drought or a failed harvest. It costs you a small amount that is added to your living costs every year. Well, excuse me. Let's go ahead and progress. Walls cave in. You lose. Wells cave in. You lose all wells. Ah oh, well. <laughs> I didn't mean to make that pun. Game over. Congratulations. You have managed to provide your family and local area with a much brighter future. You endured the hardships of third world farming for an astonishing 17 turns. Your score, uh, turns 17 times 10. Apparently you get points for that. Uh, years in school, 38 times 10. Got some points for that. Babies born, communications built, and of course, uh, since I actually beat the game, as it were, I didn't fail. Ah, that's not so bad. I didn't think the game was bad. I thought that was enjoyable. And, uh... <laughs> I'm not... making the full use of my lexicon to describe the severity of the situation that this game presents. Uh, merely electing to go for the route of seriousness, if only because my hobby is meant to be entertaining and to an extent educating for both myself and for my viewers. Understandably, there are going to be severe hardships that a family must endure in a third world country struggling to survive and to become more industrialized and uh, update their amenities for the modern times. Apparently, uh, I was able to use my extensive education to make it happen, but not everyone gets such an opportunity. Be, uh... Do not squander what you have been given. For if you have watched to the end of this video, you have far more opportunities than many of the people who've come before you and many of the people who currently live today. Make good use of what you have so that you can prosper, and so that your progeny, and so that the people you care about can prosper as well. And should we all continue to do this, eventually Earth will be overpopulated, and we'll have to all kill each other, or have a massive plague happen to cull down the human population, so that we can start from scratch. Sort of like uh, whenever the Black Death hit, uh, there was a whole lot of employment opportunities available after the, uh, the bubonic plague uh, began to die down in Europe, allowing people to move up a considerable mountain station. It's a morbid look at it. It's really gallows humor to make light of such a situation. But, you know, it has happened, and it could possibly happen in the future. All right, so hope you all were entertained and uh, impressed by my erudite understanding of everything in the world and by my uh, success here. Game over. In a positive fashion. I'll see you all in a future Let's Get On With Adventure. Talk to you later.